What's going on guys? Do you have a disgusting old mailbox like this that needs to be replaced? Or maybe your mailbox got vandalized by the local riffraff. <laughs> Whatever your reason for needing a new mailbox, I'm gonna show you how to build one. So that you can go from this to this. Let's get into the video. Okay guys, so this is my design for the mailbox, I guess you could say. So here's what I wanna do. I have my four by four post that I know is gonna be here. Uh, based on what I found online, you wanna have that, the post basically underground by about two feet, 24 inches. And then you wanna have about 41 inches above grade to the bottom of the mailbox. So I cut my four by four to around 65 inches total. Then what I basically have here is I'm gonna do a couple one by sixes. And I'm basically gonna cut these a little bit smaller as they go down. So the first one I cut to 26 inches. This one was about 23 inches. This one's 18 inches, 12 inches, etc. And then I'm gonna go ahead and mount that to the four x four. And once they're mounted, I'm gonna go back and kind of cut this out with the jigsaw to get the curvature that I'm looking for just from like the aesthetic standpoint. Um, once I have that, I'll mount a board to the top here. I'll attach my mailbox. And then what I think I'm gonna do is attach two four x fours next to each other. And then I'll go ahead and take a jigsaw again and kind of cut out this curvature. Um, but that's the basic design. That's what I got. And uh, we'll put it together now. So I started things off by cutting all the one by sixes to length. This is just pressure treated one by six. I bought one 16 foot board and cut that down to make all my individual pieces. Okay, so at this point we have all the boards roughly cut. So obviously it's descending to ascending order in terms of length. And this is kind of the general arrangement of our mailbox. So with this all in place, I'm gonna go ahead and do a rough sketch up of what we want it to look like. Um, just an FYI for spacing, I've been using just one of these one by sixes to get the spacing in between and I'm gonna roll with it. So I laid out my boards out and I freehanded the general curvature of what I wanted the mailbox to look like. And I got in trouble with this later on, as you'll see. So I'd be more precise than I was here. Once I had the boards cut, I grabbed each one individually, clamped it down to my work desk, and then cut each curve with a jigsaw. So repeated this process for each board and uh, there's me doing it there. Once I had each board cut for one side, I used each board as a template to cut the other uncut board. So I lined them up next to each other and used a marker to scribe the same curvature and then went back to my jigsaw and cut each one out so that both sides are consistent and the same length. So once everything was cut, it was just a matter of attaching the one by sixes that were pre-cut to the four by four posts. So using some two and a half inch deck screws, using the one by six as a spacer, we went ahead and mounted all of the pre-cut boards to the four by four. So it's a bit redundant, but we used two to three screws per board. Okay, so we just flipped it over, did the same thing on the other side. And obviously, as you can see, we painted the four by four black beforehand, which made things a lot easier. So to get the curved board for the front face, I took a leftover fence picket, put a 50 pound bag of marble chips on it, and then continually dumped hot water on it between two bins to start the bending process. So the next step here, I grabbed some four x four scrap pieces and went and sandwiched them in between the one by sixes. And the reason being, these are gonna act as additional blocking and anchor points for the bent front face uh, that we're gonna install later on. So I installed the bottom one. Here I am marking the curve for the top one. I went and cut it with a jigsaw. And once it was all cut, I inserted it into place and got ready to mount the front face. So I was originally gonna leave the gaps in the mailbox open, but I don't want bees or anything getting in there. So I went and I got some scrap uh, plywood, painted it black, and then cut the curvature so that you wouldn't have any clearance into the actual mailbox. So once I did that, I put them on both sides and then secured them with some screws there. Okay, finally getting to the fun part here. I um, grabbed some really hot water, dumped it on the fence picket, and then bent it into place using clamps and literally my own body weight to try to get it bent where I needed it. Um, as I got it flush, I went and installed it with screws, anchoring it to the one by sixes as well as the four by four. And there's a little bit of a crease at the top there, which is why I should have cut this one by sixes after I established the curvature, but I patched that later on. Next up, I cut the fence picket flush with the front face. And then I went and mounted the actual mailbox with three screws there. I paint those black later on so they don't stick out. And we finally got to the point where we can actually install this guy. So I grabbed my post hole digger and I dug down to just about 24 inches below grade. Here I am measuring and just double checking that I'm in the right ballpark. And then once I had the depth right, I went to grab my mailbox and tossed it in there. 
All right, once I had my hole dug to the right depth, I went and mixed up some concrete. Uh, this is just a leftover bag I had. Don't overthink it and get a special kind. It's just a mailbox here. Um, once I had it mixed, I rolled it around front and started applying it and filling the hole. And here I am just going shovel by shovel. And I'm checking the level there just with a post level uh, to make sure it's plumb and upright. And then I went ahead and filled the rest of the hole with the remaining concrete. And here's a close-up view of the last bit of concrete application. And the last thing I do here is give it one final check to make sure that we are level and plumb. Next up, I grabbed some indoor-outdoor stain that I had lying around and went ahead and stained the mailbox to give it a more, I guess, authentic non-construction material look. So for the piece of wood behind the mailbox, I glued three 4x4s together as you're seeing there. And then I marked the top of the mailbox where I knew I was gonna cut there, and also the back. So I made those two marks, and then I went ahead and took it down to my basement. I marked the line that I was gonna cut, and then with my miter saw, I went ahead and cut that line. After making the cut, I went and took that piece outside, and I stained it to match the rest of the mailbox. Then I went ahead and attached it to the mailbox with some wood glue and some anchoring screws. I went and filled the screw holes with uh, wood filler and then stained them later. Okay, so I got the numbers on there right there. I just took a laser level, and as you can barely see, it's pretty faint out here in the daylight, but I have that just centered down the middle. A little faint, but you have it there. We'll go ahead and pre-drill these and get them anchored. So I got the, uh, the templates there for the numbers mounted on the mailbox, and I'm pre-drilling them according to the manufacturer's recommendation. Next up, I went and took the plastic anchor inserts and inserted those in all the pre-drilled holes. Now it's time to go ahead and install the numbers. So each of these numbers basically has these threaded screws with a pointed end on each. So you go ahead and apply that, and then the pointed end is gonna go directly in those anchors and the plastic. So go ahead and insert those and then hammer it in with either a rubber mallet or a hammer with something to protect the numbers like a cloth or towel. And here I am just going ahead and hammering each of those in to get the numbers mounted properly. And then the final step is I applied some black caulk to the gaps in the curvature. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. If this video helped you out or at least gave you some ideas of what you would do differently on your project, I'd appreciate if you could drop me a like and then comment if you think this is way overkill for something as basic as a mailbox. If you guys want to see more DIY projects like this or maybe how I converted this half bath into the full bath you're seeing there or how I made these house numbers for under three bucks, I'd appreciate if you subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing a giveaway when I hit my first 100 subscribers and then again when we reach 1,000. So if you want to be part of that, please subscribe and thanks again for watching. Until next time.